derived from the climbing literature, when the angle between two anchors is roughly 120 degrees, the force on each anchor equals the weight of the load. It is a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio between the two anchors and the load. As the angle between two anchors decreases from 180 degrees or being taut to directly next to each other, the force on each anchor decreases from near infinity to 50%. I did some simple experiments with scales and pulleys and achieved results that were close to the 1 to 1 1 ratio between the two anchors and the load. The 120 degree rule applies to other situations. In pulley systems, when the angle between the anchor and the effort is 120 degrees, the force on the anchor, effort, and load are all the same. The result is that there is no mechanical advantage. Intuitively, when using a two to one pulley system, the effort should be half the load. A 20 pound effort should exert a 40 pound effort on the load or twice the effort. However, this is not the case when the angle is 120 degrees. It is a ratio of one to one to one between the load, anchor, and effort. Any potential mechanical advantage is lost. As the angle between the anchor and the effort decreases, the mechanical advantage approaches the theoretical two to one ratio. A directional pulley minimizes the angle and maximizes the mechanical advantage. In addition, the use of a directional pulley provides increased safety for the haulers since it allows them to safely stand off to the side of the hauling system in case the system fails. The vector pull utilizes the principle of the 120 degree rule. When the angle approaches 180 degrees on a taut line, a small load on the line approaches infinity on the anchors. As the angle increases, even slightly, the load on the anchors decreases quickly. Even when the angle becomes 150 degrees, the pressure exerted on the anchors is still twice the load. Using a swift water rescue example, the rescuer pendulums the victim to the shore. They are not quite there. Another rescuer uses a vector pull and pulls the victim into the eddy. Remember the vector pull pulls on both the victim and the belayer and can easily pull the belayer off balance. A second swift water rescue example is the stabilization line. Its purpose is to provide support to the victim so that they can keep their head above water. These rescuers had the room and rope to create a 90 degree angle. Each belayed rescuer bears 70% of the water's force on the victim. Often the angle of the stabilization line is a larger angle. A 150 degree angle is not uncommon. The force on the belayers is now doubled and can easily fatigue them. Anchors, mechanical advantage systems, and swift water rescue systems provide a glimpse of the 120 degree rule's many applications. The 120 degree rule is convenient because when the angle is 120 degrees, the load on all three elements is equal. Angles greater or less than 120 degrees are equally important. In rigging, the 120 degree rule and its variations is foundational to successfully rigging the system. 